welcome back in this video we are going to discuss about diagonalization of matrix so let us see diagonalization of a matrix let a be the square matrix of order n then the matrix a is said to be the diagonalizable if there exists a non-singular matrix that means invertible matrix p such that if this is going to be happen that is p inverse a p is equal d where d is nothing but diagonal matrix then the matrix p is known as the model matrix that means what you have to do you have to find the model matrix p and the model matrix p that can be derived using the whatever we have the eigen vector so whatever you determine the eigen vector just you need to represent as a column and that will be the your model model matrix so n by n matrix is said to be diagonalizable if and only if it has the n linearly independent eigen vector suppose you have matrix a is of the order that is 3 by 3 and suppose you will get the eigen vector that is v1 v2 and v3 and these are what exactly linearly independent eigen vector there are three that means whenever we get the three linearly independent eigen vector which is equal to order of this matrix then definitely we can say that the matrix a is the diagonalizable let us see working rule for the diagonalization of the square matrix a. find the eigen value of the square matrix a. so first we determine the eigen value then we find the corresponding eigen vectors and then we write whatever we have derived the eigen vector just represent as a column matrix and so that will be the model matrix p and then find p inverse a p so p is there so you have to determine its inverse and that also you can determine by adjoint method second one is the row operation that is known as gauss jordan method third method is the cali hamilton theorem whatever you like you can use it so just find it a p inverse then a into p just take a product with this one and then multiply with p and if you suppose to get the matrix d that is a diagonal matrix that contains that is the eigen value lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 and that will be the what exited diagonal matrix and if you get it then definitely this is what exactly our matrix will be the diagonalizable so let us see first mat question find the matrix p that diagonalized matrix and determine p inverse a p where this is what exactly a and this is the upper triangular matrix so whenever we have the upper triangular matrix so it is clear that the eigen values will be 2 3 and 3 but now our target is to what to determine its corresponding eigen vector so let us first start with lambda is equal to is there so just consider a minus lambda x is equal 0 just put lambda is equal to whenever you simplify so you will get this one and this is and corresponding this system we get a minus 2z is equal 0 y is equal 0 and z is equal 0 so what does it mean by this means that we have derived that the only x that can be solution x will be what so first x x that is don't know that means we will uh, keep it as it is and y that is 0 and z is equal 0 here x can be any so let us assume that that is t1 and which is belong to r so what you are going to get t1 0 0 when i take t1 common so it will be 1 0 0 and this is what exactly our eigen vector say x1 and which is corresponding to lambda is equal to let us see lambda is equal 3 is there so let us assume that this one so just lambda is replaced by 3 that means each entries of the diag mat given matrix and its diagonal entries subtracted by only 3 and you will get this one and corresponding we have this system but from this what i can say x plus 2z is equal 0 so what i'm just going to consider x is depend on z and here also you can see that number of equation is 1 and unknown variable is nothing but 3 so unknown minus equation so we have 1 so we can say 3 minus 1 is nothing but 2 that means i have to assume that 2 free variable 
सो आई हैव टू टेक वाई इज इक्वल टी टू एंड जेड इज इक्वल टी थ्री वाय टी टू एंड टी थ्री इज नथिंग बट रियल नंबर एंड सो फ्रॉम दिस एक्स इज इक्वल माइनस टू जेड बट वेन एवर यू जस्ट फूड जेड इज इक्वल टी थ्री सो यू विल गेट एक्स इज इक्वल माइनस टू टाइम टी थ्री सो दैर फॉर द सोल्यूशन so whenever i substitute x y and z here so what i'm just going to get minus 2 t3 t2 and t3 here t2 and t3 are the uh, any parameter so i can represent that is 0 t2 0 plus minus 2 t3 0 and 1 as a column matrix but when i add these two mat trick so i'm just going to get this one now just take t2 common so i'm just going to get 0 1 0 and t3 common so it will be what this is the t3 is there so minus 2 0 1 but we can say this vector this is the x2 and this is the x3 and therefore we can say that the eigen vector corresponding to lambda is equal 3 is nothing but this one and this is and therefore the model matrix p so that can be represented as first vector that is 1 0 0 second vector is there third vector is there because we have only two distinct eigen values and therefore we have the corresponding eigen vector there are three and therefore we can say that the number of eigen vector is equal order of matrix and the, if this is going to be happen then the matrix say is diagonalizable and that thing we will keep in mind so therefore this is the model matrix p now we have to determine the p inverse and so apply the gaussian method so what i'm just going to consider p is equal i3 p this is our p i3 is there and that is p so i'm just going to convert this matrix as a identity and whatever we are just going to get this one so that will be the our p inverse so let us first apply the operation and you will get this one and that then it is clear that whatever you have determined this is identity i3 and then this is the p inverse and this is p so therefore this is a p inverse is nothing but 10201001 and therefore we can say that the p inverse ap this is the p inverse this is a and p so whenever you simplify so what you are going to get this one and so you can observe that this is the diagonal entry that is the 2 3 3 and which is exactly eigen values of the given matrix a and therefore we can say that this matrix is nothing but diagonalizable so in this video we have discussed about the how we can find the matrix a is the diagonalizable and when we can say that the matrix a is the diagonalizable thank you